Was there participation from Thor Heyerdahl's family or his uh, descendants in making this film? Very, very much so. We've um, talked a lot to his family and, and Paul Hagen especially. Um, and we talked a lot to his son uh, and his sort of the sp spitting image of, of Thor as well. Um, and they filled us in on everything. And uh, also, Thor is one has led one of the most well documented lives I think of any person. He was uh, a PR genius. So <laughs> uh, we've had the endless movie would hours. Have looked differently if he had directed it himself. I, yeah. <laughs> um, so he, he he wrote so many books, and and uh, there are hours and hours and hours of film and thousands of thousands of pictures. So. We had a lot to to take from. And Paul, I wanted to ask you: Was it with this massive personality of Thor Heyerdahl? Was it a daunting task to take on this role? And was there anything <laughs> nerve-wracking about it? I, I get, of course. <clears throat> I mean, he is uh, he is a legendary figure in in Norway and you know in in many parts of the world. And of course, it's strange for me uh, as an actor to to you know to do that but I, I really didn't think that much about it when when we shot it and everything I mean it's it's not a good thing to you know remember that when you work it you need your concentration uh, there were a lot of good hooks and twists did you by any chance collaborate on the screenplay or was there a screenplay I didn't see anything on the credits maybe I missed it yes uh, the, the, sc the screenplay is written uh, by a Norwegian uh, screenwriter called uh, Petter Skavlan. And uh, we worked with him for about a year and a half. Um, and the, actually, the, the big challenge in the script was uh, the character of Thor Heyerdahl. Because uh, he's, uh, he's a challenging, he's a, he's a difficult main character. He doesn't really have that much of an arc. Uh, and he's a little bit hard to identify with. Uh, so, of course, we had to... Uh, Use an excellent actor. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and give him some doubt, uh, absolutely. But I think that our biggest contribution to the script was to alter the, char the character of Herman, the, the refrigerator salesman, uh, 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 in comparison to what he was in real life, actually. He was, he was as tough as a story in a way, I think, in, in real life. And we kind of made him the, um, you know, a person that I think the audience can easier identify with and he, somebody that asks the, the questions, basically, on, on board the raft. And for us, that kind of opened up, that, that gave us the possibility to, to give him the, 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 the biggest arc, I think, in the film, and, and uh, someone that the audience could, could identify with. And, uh, so I think that was a, the, the biggest change that we, we came in well, all together with some restructuring of the raft itself. And, and they, they tried to make this as a Hollywood movie for many years, and then Thor was still alive, and being the only Norwegian with an Academy Award, um, he was, of course, the expert. And uh, he wanted the movie very much about the theories. And we thought that maybe people weren't, didn't buy those 50 million copies just because of they were so into migration theories. Might be the adventure part as well, so we also developed that. We shot on the open sea for four weeks. And then we had uh, four weeks in a tank. And if we were to do it again, we'll probably have five weeks in the open sea. But we were very lucky with the weather, so. That explains a lot. But, it, but, and, but yeah, and that's the thing, I think, that when you do a film like this, it's, it's kind of daunting going into it uh, because there's so many locations, shooting on water. Uh, th there's a lot of challenges. Um, and uh, I'm, I, think, I, I, think, I think that there was a, a huge concern uh, from the pr production side that we wanted to go out on the open sea and, and shoot so much of it. Uh, but I really think that that's, you know, for us anyway, uh, it paid off because when we were out in the open sea, that's where the actors really felt, you know, we had the horizon and we had, of course, you know, that's when our adventure started as well as, as filmmakers and as actors. And of course, we had 
s uh, supply boats <laughs> around. So, you know, but still, it's it's uh, it was an adventure, definitely. And the raft itself is a replica of the real raft. Um, Ours has two more logs than the original one. It had nine and ours have 11. But our raft is built from the raft that Tor Heyerdahl's grandson uh, sailed the same route in 2006. 2006. So the raft in the movie has actually made the journey or the voyage. I see a question back here. Yeah, I read online that the film was um, was shot in English and in Norwegian. Is that true? And if so, how does uh, what are the plans in terms of your markets, with especially with regards to the U.S.? Yes, uh, that is true. We've shot it both in Norwegian and English. So we have a complete version of this movie where everybody speaks English all the time. And Paul Hagen here uh, then speaks better English than he does in this version. Uh, but this is made for the Norwegian market, and Tor was uh, known for his uh, notorious Norwegian accent. Uh, but in the English version, they speak more like a British accent, everybody. Uh, and it will come out, it will come out uh, here in the U.S. as well. We got a distributor yesterday. Thank you.